Hey there, my name is Kathy. I wanted to share just quickly a little bit about being a cancer caregiver wife. I started my journey or my new title back on Friday, September 15th, back in 2017. Uh, the day prior to that, I was living pr my pretty, my routine normal life. I was going to work every day. I was enjoying running a part-time business in the evenings. I was doing things that I was passionate about. I was actually training for a half marathon and just enjoying life. Little did I know one day, which was the next day, was going to be the day that my life and I would be awarded a new, a new title called caregiver. Uh, my husband's name is Dennis. We were sitting in the doctor's office and I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong that day when we sat in the doctor's office. Um, just by the reaction with the blood counts and so on, the doctor came in and said the words cancer. And that started a new journey in my life. Uh, the first few weeks were a big blur. I... Um, Remember things like all of the information, doctor's appointments, biopsies, testing, um, and eventually getting treatment plans and doing a little bit of um, information training um, to go ahead and understanding his treatment plans. I also remember um, months after that, too, trying to navigate this new world. For me, I was... I still wanted to work full time. I still wanted to run my business. And I was just a month out on training for my ninth half marathon. And so I was still trying to juggle it all. I was still trying to figure it all out and, and work in that sort of thing. And then now adding the appointments to my plate. Um, I would catch myself at least once a week, totally breaking down. Tears, exhaustion, um, just couldn't function anymore because of the sheer, you know, overwhelm that I was having. I was trying to juggle so much on my plate. Um, I would find myself moving my project appointments for my full-time job, um, putting things aside and trying to figure out what I was going to do. Usually what I ended up doing was taking a half a day off and just totally sleeping if the finding the day that Dennis wasn't at an appointment or whatever it would be. I realized I couldn't sustain that. Originally, I thought I could do anything. I was, you know, I was superwoman. I could handle it all. But deep down as the facts and all of the reality set in, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of work. I have to figure this out and figure out what I was going to do. Uh, so I created this company called Empowered Cancer Caregiver, and it is for women that are ambitious, self-driven, um, married women that are trying to go ahead and navigate through this. Um, I was the type of person that wanted to navigate through this, and I wanted to still maintain the passions that I had. I still wanted to work. I still wanted to go ahead and run my part-time business. I still wanted to be healthy and function. So I had to go ahead and figure out that. And that's why I created this business because I think you're like me and you really want to figure this out. And so I want to provide you with a free handout that I created and it's a pretty robust handout. Um, and the, the handout is the lies every cancer caregiver admits to thinking. And I just shared the first one with you. And that is, I really believe that I could be superwoman and I had superpowers. I could add this to my plate. I could figure it out um, and do that. And through that journey... I realized I couldn't be. And so this is the first lie. And so this is what it's going to look like. There are four additional lies on here or misbeliefs, if you don't like the word lie, or things that you have to admit to that you can't do it all. And so what are you willing to go ahead and adjust? What are you willing to go ahead and figure out or ask for help? 
Um, and so through this document, I think you'll find some great tips. And so um, enjoy this free handout. It will be in the comments um, and click on the link. All I'm asking you for is your email address and your name. You'll be added to my mailing list. And if you find that things that this isn't for you, just unsubscribe. But I'm hoping some of the tips that I'm going to go ahead and continue to share in my business and um, some of my videos and newsletters will be of help to you so that you can be the best caregiver in this new normal season that you're living. Have a good rest of the day and enjoy the free um, handout. Bye now.